Maxwell's equations describe the propagation of light through space. Those equations are seen here. These are Maxwell's equations. And the velocity of light is a function of the permittivity of free space and that of a vacuum. And those values change when you're in a material. This epsilon naught, that changes when you're in a material. And what that also changes is down in the bottom where you see that one over C squared, the effective light through materials that don't have epsilon naught and mu naught, basically anything that's not pure space, is going to effectively change that velocity that the light travels through a material. In other words, when light goes through air, it travels a little bit slower. When it goes through water, it travels even slower still. And that's what causes light to bend as it goes from air to water, is that change in velocity. It effectively will do that based on the boundary conditions of these Maxwell's equations. So light travels slower in water than it does in a vacuum. And so an electron in water can actually travel faster than the light is traveling in that same water. So the speed of light in a vacuum is a constant and nothing can travel faster than it. But when light travels slower in water, then electrons can travel faster than that light. And that gives rise to the Cherenkov radiation from which that comment up there came. So yes, it is possible to travel faster than light in water, but it's not possible to travel faster than light in a vacuum. So I hope that helps. Thanks for that comment up there. I hope you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Bye.